Hi, I'm Ryan Lintelman, entertainment curator here at the National Museum of American History. We wanted to take this moment to say thank you to the thousands of you who have generously contributed to our Kickstarter campaign to conserve and display the Ruby Slippers. Due to the incredible turnout we had and excitement about this project, we can't wait to get started on the conservation of the slippers, but we also wanted to extend our goal to reach to the Scarecrow costume from the 1939 film. This is the hat that Ray Bolger wore in his role as the Scarecrow, and we've got the whole costume here, and it needs some help too. Thanks to all the contributions, we're halfway to our goal, but we could really use some help to get there as soon as possible so we can make sure that we conserve this American treasure as well. Let's take a quick behind the scenes look at the Scarecrow costume. Like the slippers, Scarecrow's costume was custom made for the movie and is almost 80 years old. One of the chief dangers for costume pieces like this in the museum's collections is fading. You can see the color difference between the buttonhole and the fabric that's behind it. The Scarecrow is described as a lopsided bag of hay by the Cowardly Lion in the movie. You can see that the costume makers left some of his hems ragged to communicate his rough edges and unfinished quality. I love my job here at the Smithsonian, where I get to care for these national treasures like the ruby slippers and the Scarecrow's costume. And thanks to your generosity, you're helping us to keep these objects on display too, so we can tell these stories about American history to the millions of visitors we have every year. Thank you.